A carrier strike group is a flexible naval force consisting of an aircraft carrier, capital ship, and its large number of escorts. Together defining the group that can operate in confined waters or in the open ocean, during day and night, in all weather conditions. The principal role of the carrier and its air wing within the carrier strike group is to provide the primary offensive firepower while the other ships provide defense and support. Carrier battle groups must be constantly vigilant against attack from the air, the sea, and from underwater. The goal is to create a sealed bubble around the carrier with nothing able to enter the bubble without approval. The modern carrier battle group forms a potent power projection platform, but no two carrier battle groups are the same. In this video, you will learn about these powerful naval fleet formations and see why they have become so important. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. The Carrier Strike Group 12 is one of four U.S. Navy Carrier Strike Groups currently assigned to the United States Fleet Forces Command. The USS Gerald R. Ford is the aircraft carrier assigned as the Strike Group's flagship, including the Carrier Air Wing 8. This Carrier Air Wing consists of eight squadrons, the Strike Fighter Squadron 87, nicknamed the Golden Warriors, the Strike Fighter Squadron 37, the Ragin' Bulls, the Strike Fighter Squadron 31, the Tomcats, and the Strike Fighter Squadron 213, the Black Lions. All these squadrons are equipped with the Boeing F-18E and F-18F Super Hornet, and they are based at Naval Air Station Oceana, Virginia. Airborne Command and Control Squadron 124, based at Norfolk Naval Air Station, Virginia, nicknamed Bear Aces, flying the Northrop Grumman E-2D Hawkeye. Electronic Attack Squadron 142, also known as the Grey Wolves, is an EA-18G Growler Squadron and is stationed at Whidbey Island Naval Air Station, Oak Harbor, Washington. The Fleet Logistics Support Squadron 40, also known as the Rawhides, is a Fleet Logistics Support Squadron based at Norfolk Naval Station and operates the Grumman C-2A Greyhound. Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 9, nicknamed Tridents, also based at Naval Air Station Norfolk, Virginia. This helicopter squadron is equipped with the Sikorsky MH-60S Seahawk. And finally, Operating the Sikorsky SH-60 Seahawk helicopter, the Helicopter Maritime Strike Squadron 70 or the Spartans, based at Naval Air Station Jacksonville in Florida. These are all the squadrons that compose the Carrier Air Wing 8. Carrier battle groups are formed on an as-needed basis, and escort ships are assigned to the group based on the mission. However, the Carrier Battle Group 12 consists of the following ships. The USS Vicksburg and USS Normandy of the Ticonderoga class guided missile cruisers. They are based in Norfolk Naval Station, Virginia. Widely known as the Aegis Cruiser due to its technologically advanced Aegis combat management system, the Ticonderoga class guided missile cruiser is perhaps the most recognizable surface combat ship in the US Navy inventory. The Ticonderoga class ships are multi-mission air warfare, undersea warfare, naval surface fire support, and surface warfare. These are offensive ships loaded with cruise missiles to strike land targets, equipped with Tomahawk cruise missiles, giving them additional long-range strike warfare capability. Assigned to this carrier strike group is the Destroyer Squadron 2, or Desron 2. Currently homeported in Norfolk Naval Station, Virginia, this squadron is comprised of six guided missile destroyers of Arleigh Burke players are equipped with an Aegis combat system which integrates the ship's sensors and weapon systems to engage anti-ship missile threats. The ships are armed with 56 Raytheon Tomahawk cruise missiles with a combination of land attack missiles and anti-ship missiles with inertial guidance. The standard SM-2 Mr. Block 4 surface-to-air missiles with command inertial guidance remain at the center of the Aegis system. With upgrades to the AN Spy-1 phased radar systems and their associated missile payloads as part of the Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, these ships are extremely capable as mobile anti-ballistic missile and anti-satellite weaponry platforms. To date, 37 modernizations have been completed or are in progress, and an additional 17 modernizations are planned through the future year's defense program. 
The Carrier Strike Group 12 also includes fleet logistics ships like the USNS Robert E. Peary and USNS Joshua Humphreys. The USNS Robert E. Peary is a Lewis and Clark class, a dry cargo and ammunition ship, and is part of U.S. Naval Fleet Auxiliary Force currently allocated to the Carrier Strike Group 12. This ship, which is not armed and is classified as non-combatant ship, is capable of operating independently for extended periods at sea while providing underway replenishment services and contribute to the Carrier Strike Force ability to maintain a forward presence. It provides underway replenishment services with logistic lift from sources of supply in port or at sea, and the transfer of cargo including ammunition, food, fuel, spares, potable water, expendable supplies, and material to the carrier battle group 12 at sea. The USNS Joshua Humphreys is a Henry J. Kaiser class fleet replenishment oilers in service with the Military Sealift Command of the U.S. Navy. Currently allocated to the Carrier Strike Group 12, where performs underway replenishment of warships and aircraft aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford. Its double hull form protects the cargo tanks from damage and complies with the regulations of the Oil Pollution Act of 1990. Either side of the ship features stations for underway replenishment of fuel and stores. The ship has five fueling stations, of which two are located on the starboard side and three on port side. The fueling stations are capable of refilling two vessels at once and can pump up to 900,000 gallons of diesel and 540,000 gallons of jet fuel an hour. She entered service in 1987 and was placed in reserve just nine years later, but has twice been brought out of reserve and is once more on active duty since 2015 till present day. And finally, the flagship and the most important unit of the Carrier Strike Group 12, the aircraft carrier, USS Gerald R. Ford. USS Gerald R. Ford is the lead ship in the Ford class of aircraft carrier, the first new class in more than 40 years, and will begin the phased replacement of Nimitz class carriers. Although it appears similar to a Nimitz class aircraft carrier, there are many features that make Ford unique. Features like automation, allowing a crew of several hundred fewer than the Nimitz class carrier. The updated RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile. An Inspy 3X band multifunction radar and an Inspy 6 band volume search radar. Designated together as dual band radar. Stealth features to reduce radar cross section. Of the new innovations, the main theme is the move towards electrification. The two nuclear reactors are of a new and more powerful design enabling the steam alternators to deliver almost three times the generation capacity of the Nimitz and a peak voltage of up to 13,800 volts. Besides providing energy for the majority of the ship's systems, this leaves a large reserve to fit directed energy weapons or more powerful sensors in the future. The most high-profile innovation is the adoption of the electromagnetic aircraft launch system, replacing the steam-powered catapults pioneered by the Royal Navy in the 1950s. The main advantage of this system is reduced where on the aircraft as launch power can be finely calculated. The advanced arresting gear developed for the Ford class allows the recovery of a greater range of aircraft and also reduces stress loadings on the airframe. Advanced Weapons Elevator are another critical part of Ford's new capabilities. This aircraft carrier has 11 Advanced Weapons Elevator and are rated for loads of 10,886 kilograms ammunition and can travel at 45 meters per minute. The lifts are moved by electromagnetic induction without the need for hydraulics and cables. This greatly reduces maintenance and simplifies the design of heavy doors that seal off the elevator shafts between decks to make them blast, fire, and flood proof. This delivers a significant increase in sortie generation rate as aircraft can be armed faster and more safely. The Ford can sustain around 160 sorties per day compared with 140 for the Nimitz. This features only schemes the surface of the many engineering developments and capabilities of this mighty ship. For NATO nations, the sight of a U.S. carrier is always reassuring as the ultimate power projection platform with combat aviation capability, surpassing that of many entire air forces. There may be other ships that travel with the group. For example, there may be troop ships, amphibious ships for the Marines, submarines, 
cargo ships carrying tanks and other equipment like mine sweepers, etc. It all depends on the mission. That's all we have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.